How do societies construct a usable past from their histories? And how do societies put this past to work for their own very present purposes? Beginning in the late 18th century, our modern attitudes toward the past began to form in response to the accelerating pace of life. Wholesale transformations of society and thought occurred between 1790 and 1815, a period bounded historically by the French Revolution and the Napoleonic Wars. The Industrial Revolution speeded up the rate of change even more dramatically. The rise of nationalism in the 19th century fostered the view of monuments, ancient or brand new, as symbols of collective identity. And with such symbols, 19th century nation states sought to mobilize and monumentalize a mythic national past, and thereby to legitimize and give meaning to the present. As we know, the 20th century was marked by dislocation and loss on an unprecedented scale. Perhaps this explains why 95% of all existing museums post-date the Second World War. From this perspective, museums offer traditional forms of cultural identity to increasingly destabilized modern subjects who lack a sense of lived tradition. Since the 1970s, there's been a huge wave of historicizing restoration in Europe and the U.S. involving refurbishing of old urban centers and the creation of elaborate historical museum sites. But recent decades have also seen highly emotional debates about national heritage. And increasingly, commemorative practices are not limited to triumphalist celebration, but also include parts of the past that are politically painful, creating opportunities for parties to make apologies and offer reparations. The contemporary cult of heritage represents a radical shift from early 20th century modernist attitudes, which were focused on the utopian future. The presence of the past investigates our current emphasis on looking back, obsessing over material remnants, the fragments that spur us to imagine our past. We've made a shift from thinking about history to emphasizing heritage, such that it is now possible to speak about heritage overload. Are we saving too much, cluttering up the present? In the presence of the past, the entire world is up for consideration, and this perspective is reflected in the assignment structure for the course. At the beginning of the semester, you will pick a cultural landscape, a town, a city, a region or a locale, somewhere in the world, and throughout the semester you will explore it, developing your research area on the course website as we move through weekly course themes such as ruins, memorials, souvenirs, and disputed heritage artifacts. The final paper topic is of your own choosing, an opportunity for you to explore a topic related to this course that is also close to your heart and your individual intellectual inclinations. The presence of the past hopes to help you see the world around you in a different way and to develop a framework for thinking that you can take with you on your travels through life. In the broadest terms, the presence of the past asks questions about how we see ourselves in the world.